You may have heard the word whistleblower before. Sometimes they're thought of as heroic truth tellers. Other times, they're mischaracterized as leakers or even traitors. Maybe you've just heard the word before, but don't really know what it means. So what is whistleblowing exactly? Whistleblowers are those who witness wrongdoing in the workplace and decide to speak up to expose serious violations of public trust. Making these disclosures is a legally protected right. Almost all whistleblowers raise concerns internally first. Most don't even see themselves as whistleblowers, but as someone who was just doing their job. They saw misconduct or harmful actions and couldn't stay silent. While there is no single law that protects all whistleblowers, the Whistleblower Protection Act applies to most federal employees and protects them from retaliation. It defines a whistleblower as an employee who discloses information they reasonably believe evidences a violation of law, rule, or regulation, gross mismanagement, gross waste of funds, abuse of authority, or substantial and specific danger to public health or safety. This definition of employees as whistleblowers shows that workers are not only the most likely to witness wrongdoing, but also the most likely to suffer reprisal for reporting it. Furthermore, the kinds of problems that qualify as whistleblower disclosures are serious, demonstrating that whistleblowing is about speaking up for the public good. They are thus the very definition of public servants. Countless whistleblowers have exposed wrongdoing, sometimes at significant professional and personal risk, and their disclosures have made a difference. Take Don Wooten, a nurse at an ICE detention center in Georgia. She shined the light on dangerous practices that contributed to the spread of COVID-19 among immigrants and workers, and on unnecessary hysterectomies and other invasive gynecological procedures performed on immigrant women with dubious consent. Her disclosures generated viral public outcry and organizing, congressional calls for investigations, a class action lawsuit of immigrant women who survived medical misconduct at the ICE facility, and an order by the DHS secretary to end immigrant detention at that facility. Or Jay Brainerd, the federal security director in Kansas for TSA. He sounded the alarm on gross mismanagement in TSA's response early on in the coronavirus pandemic. His disclosures prompted TSA to update its safety protocols in July 2020. Or Dr. Maria Caffrey, a climate scientist with the National Park Service, who pushed back on attempts to censor references to human-caused climate change in a report she wrote. The report was ultimately published uncensored, but she was eventually forced out of her job. The story of the cost of her refusal has energized new reform efforts to protect federal science and scientists. Whistleblowers are often the best and sometimes the only path toward holding government institutions accountable and protecting the public's interest and democracy itself. Getting expert legal advice early can make a difference in minimizing the risk and maximizing the effectiveness of reporting wrongdoing. Contact Government Accountability Project for legal support. Raise awareness on whistleblowing by sharing this video and learn more at www.whistleblower.org.